Hey guys, you should have just completed watching this video in Photoshop. If, if you have Photoshop at home, please use it. If you don't, then the rest of us are going to be using photop.com while we wait for the IT department to get back to us on our free subscription to the Adobe Cloud program for um, hopeful use at home. Until then, we'll just work with Photop, which you guys will be pleasantly surprised. It is extremely similar to Photoshop. What you're going to start with is but I'm um, just clicking new project and we're going to follow the exact same specifications she did. I'm going to go to 10 inches by 10 inches and up this to 300 because you never know when you want to print. I can title it right now and I'm just going to title it pattern and then you're just going to hit the button that says create. A lot of this is similar. You'll notice the icons are a little different but you can pretty much follow the exact same directions that she did, which makes this a lot easier. All right, so what I'm gonna start with is the guides. So you can go to view and then you can go to add guides. Unfortunately, the other time I tried this, it wasn't quite working. You can try it for yourself, but it's not the end of the world if we don't have the guides. So I'm just gonna try 50 and 50 and see if it magically, magically works now. Layers locked. New layer. My bad. Guides. 50 50. Okay. And they're still not showing. So that's what was happening before, but that's okay. So feel free to try just to see if it works. It might just be my laptop is really old, um, but figure it out. We can totally do this without it though. All right. So instead of just using the brush tool like she did, here's your little brush tool, and I can draw some swirls. And again, make sure that you are not touching the edges. I want you to really experiment with the shape tools and try to get really elaborate with it. Draw some shapes, transfer them, free transform works. Oops, new tab, my bad. Um, free transform works if you have your um, object selected and you're on your move tool. Um, you can also use the custom shapes. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Press and hold, custom shape, and they have a ton of presets for you. It takes a second to load, but use them, change them, um repeat them and these are really really cool to use all right so once you've got your design created and please make sure it's better than mine what you're going to do is make sure that everything that you're you created is on one layer so i'm going to go from the top layer to the bottom layer press and hold shift and then click you'll notice that all of them become a darker gray color i'm going to right click on my selection and i'm going to merge the layers down now you're going to do the cutting and pasting that she did so i'm going to grab my rectangular marquee tool and i'm going to drag until it says 3,000 on the bottom, which is the height of the document. 3,000 pixels is equivalent to 10 inches. And then I'm going to slide back until it's 1,500 because 1,500 is, of course, half of 3,000. So once you've got that selection, let go, and you'll see you're running ants. And I'm going to press Control x to cut. I'm going to press Control d to deselect. I'm going to grab my arrow. I'm going to move this layer over. And you'll notice that little bar is like a smart guide, so that's going to help me keep it aligned. I'm going to press Control V to paste my other layer, and I just want to drag it across and make sure that I keep it aligned. So when you see that little line come back, then you are good to let go. And then we're going to merge our layers. So instead of selecting both and right clicking, I could do the keyboard shortcut and press control E. And you will notice that they have merged together without me having to select anything. Now I'm going to select the top from the bottom. So just like she did, she did left and right, then top and bottom. So I'm gonna keep scrolling until I've got the 1500, and then I'm going to press Control X, Control Z, grab your move tool, move this one up, make sure that it's aligned and make sure it's touching the top, touching the side, let go, 
control V to paste the other piece and drag that down. Now you will of course go back in and make sure that all of this negative space in here is filled in by adding a few more shapes or a few more lines. And again, do not let your design touch the edges because then it will not oscillate. I'm going to press Control E, make sure that that's all merged together. And when you are done, you're going to go to Edit, Define New Pattern. Okay, so your pattern is now added. If you make a new layer, check the eye so that one's invisible, effects, and you can either do pattern overlay or I can just double click and then I can hit pattern overlay. Your pattern should be right there. Okay, so the program should preview, but it doesn't always work. Let's just scale out to see if it's just too big. Okay, move just to make sure. So this is what was happening earlier to me. It was not quite working. I had to close out and then reopen and then it worked. The problem with that is that your pattern will not save if you close out of the browser. It may but you can't guarantee. So what you want to do is make sure that you download your image. So I'm going to go file, export as a PNG or a JPEG. A PNG will have a transparent background. So if you don't want it to have a background color, then you'll do PNG. If you want to keep your background color, whether it was white, black, whatever color you made it, then you can select a JPEG. So whichever one of these is up to you. And I'm just going to click it and you'll notice that it downloads. So your downloads bar will pop up. Oops, I got to actually hit save first. So make sure you hit double, double, double. Make sure you hit save again. And you'll notice it comes up saved as that name that we did in that first open create document window. So now I can access this. And if I don't have time right now to do the next step for today, which is the pattern overlay onto text, then I have it. I can import it in next time. So just make sure that you do save your work before you close out of the browser.